guys. So just going to go through a bit of a common misdiagnosis from both clients and some therapists like um, is working with IT Ben. So relevant to PTs, you know, yoga, Pilates, anyone in that sort of field or something similar even. Basically what we see and hear a lot of times is that the IT band is tight. Um, just going to say right off the bat, it, that can't be the case because it's not a muscle. So there's no actual contractile element to the IT band. So what's actually happening? So we've got the IT band down here, generally clients reporting of lateral knee pain through the side there. So you follow the IT band all the way up here you got TFL here, tensor fascia latte, vas lat in there. So generally what happens, the client pops on the foam roller and rolls up and down, up and down, up and down. And somewhat, they might get a little bit of extra length out of the IT band after absolutely poleaxing it for a while. And they might get a little bit of relief as a result of that. That's not really the right way to go about it. Um, basically, this IT band is generally already being stretched as much as it can handle, hence why it's pulling on the edge of the patella there, causing irritation. So to further roll on it and to further lengthen it, you might get some short-term benefits from it if you can get it to lengthen a little bit further, but it's really just going to make the problem worse in the long run. So what they're actually doing, generally when they're rolling up and down and they feel like it hurts, the pressure is going generally sort of goes through the IT band and into the vas lat. So we generally have a bit of a cluster of trigger points down the bottom here, around the knee there. So when they think they're on the meat of the IT band, what they're really doing, the pressure goes through the IT band and they're actually rolling on vas lat there. So pretty common in you know sports that are hip hip dominant. So cycling, running, rowing, things like that. Things that require a lot of force out of both the quads and the hip flexors. So they're rolling up and down on here and they're really actually getting to those trigger points in the meat of the muscle, so there and there. And what they should be doing is actually restoring length up here to this TFL. As you can see, that muscle comes down, basically the hip bone right there, the front of the hips. You follow that down, it's basically, if you want to find it, so that you find your hip bone at the front there, and I kind of say it's a better fist shape, kind of goes off to the side, down the front a little bit. If you restore length to this tissue through here, that drops down and it re allows that to sort of get a little bit more slack in it and it eventually takes the pressure off here. So instead of trying to over lengthen or trying to stretch or lengthen something that's already over lengthened and is already causing issues, if you restore length to this tissue up here, that drops down and it takes the pressure off of the hip, or sorry, off of the knee down there.